okay so with these buttons uh, this is a uh, really good that the Mercedes change it from here from like a toggle on the steering wheel because this is a uh, cruise control and I know this from a class when I drive it so here if you press it up then you can select select and set the speed which you are driving and you can increase by 10 kilometers if you press hard but if you like click a little bit then you can add it uh, one kilometer per hour uh, if you want to cancel the cruise control you either step on the brake or you press this button down then you cancel and if you want to set if you are driving for example 50 and you want to and your cruise control before was on 70 then you uh, press here and it goes to 70 but if you press it twice then the sign recognition uh, speed limit recognition can set the maximum allowed speed limit so if you are going for example 20 speed limit is 90 so you press tw uh, two times and then it goes uh, automatically to 90 so this is pretty cool and here you have a volume for the music and the calls if you want to call then you press up call uh, put to call hang the call and then put down and these are some favorites if you want to speak to the car then you can press up and this is also home button but this is for the command system for the multimedia system and also this is a back button back and this is the same as here okay so we can take a look now at this multimedia system command system and i can operate it with the steering wheel as i showed you or with this part so i just going to set it like it was okay so now i want to show you uh, the navigation which looks uh, like this you can zoom it out or in basically see the the whole planet and you can see the road network you have a live traffic here you see also the weather so for example here is uh, raining and here is sunny so pretty pretty cool navigation and then you can set bunch of things in navigation then we have radio media telephone connect and this is for the browser and also also you need the data tariff to have a functioning browser so then you have a mercedes-benz apps like the mercedes me you can have a bunch of things like the you can see everything about the car also linked down in the description box if you want to check i made a video about it uh, in the apple carplay you have a also Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and then in vehicle I put the input on the fast so sometimes it's too fast so in vehicle you have a seats which you can have a driver or passenger seat you can have a massage like a high intensity, low intensity hot relaxing shoulder massage, activating massage so classic massage, mobilizing massage so as you can see here this is basically what is uh, pushing on my towards my back so dynamic seat you can uh, inflate these bolsters as you can see here so uh, the side bolsters you can have a uh, level one or two and what it does is when you go into the corner if you go uh, the one corner then the opposite bolster is inflating with the air so you are better supported in the seats so that's good technology i really like it and i felt it once in, in brabus so in lumbar support you can uh, adjust uh, support everywhere you want so this is uh, really cool shoulders 
you can everything you can adjust everything you can have a, like a more hug on the on the here on the shoulders so it's cool very cool side bolsters you can inflate them automatically without the active so now it's on 10 so I feel like the CD is really hugging me so I think five around five is ideal for like a CD drive uh, then you have a seed heating balance so you can heat only the lower part or only the backrest or you can put it on the equal so both of them are heating and you can reset so then in the climate control you can see and sync everything together I need to put it on auto to see the things so you can have an AC uh, climate mode means that you can diffuse uh, differently only for the driver or only for the passenger and you can have a focus which is like uh, you can see the stream of the air diffuse which is like I don't even know how to how to <laughs> explain it but it's like different different uh, way of the air distribution in the cabin air refreshener is actually in the glove compartment you can have it on a high medium low ionization of the air and uh, again air distribution and footwell temperature so you can have a different temperature for the here you can see for the foot foot well you can have it like a cooled or heated or normally like the every other part of the driver and you can do it for the passenger as well and auxiliary heating is you can set the time a b when it should st start and so we're yeah, pretty cool and uh, when I'm talking now I have the massage also and for the rear you can set the temperature and also the airflow so pretty cool if you have a driver you can tell him and he can uh, he can uh, set the eat this for you or if you have kids uh, in the rear or something like that for the rear passengers so I will turn it off because it's uh, more loud okay so in energizing comfort you have a like you can see and select the seat for example driver or passenger and then you can do the refresh which is green green blue lighting and cool refreshing breeze uh, like you are on the coast <laughs> so uh, and warm is cozy warmed heated seats and surfaces with yellow orange lightning uh, vitality joy is seed massage sunny sunlight sunny light setting so pretty cool you can like set the atmosphere and in dynamic select you can change the individual mode as I told you you can change the drive for uh, comfort sport sport plus and you can change then the suspension the aimed right control for the comfort sport sport plus and you can see the menus here uh, then you have a transmission which can be manual or automatic exhaust system sport comfort and ESP which can be on or sport so then you have engine data So you can see the temperature of the gearbox and of the engine and you can see the newton meters and the kilowatts how much you're using so if I start the car
you can see it's changing. And you can see here also the temperature in big number. So when I go back, also you need uh, ignition for this. So vehicle data, really nice animation. So if I put car in the Sport Plus, you can see that it goes minus one. So maybe this is one centimeter. I'm not uh, sure, 100%. But here you can see, but this is also lowering uh, the ride height. And here you have a suspensions. If I would drive, then you can uh, probably see the distribution. But probably when you are going only, when you are going uh, forward, I just go just a little bit back. Now I will go forward. I need to, need to see the menu. Okay, so this is doing nothing, but actually I can see here, I saw here changing of this. So this is uh, interesting. And uh, I will continue now. And you have here also some percentages. And if I press here, and I start to turn the steering wheel, you can see the angle, and also the uh, wheels are turning. You have a dynamic data. So now probably you can see how much is going to the front and rear uh, here in this uh, car setting. You have also G-force here and kilowatts and newton meters. And if I put it in a Sport Plus, really nice animation, right? Tell me in the comments. Then you have like a racing. So, and you have also another boost, newton meters and kilowatts. So this is uh, pretty remarkable. So in this uh, next section we have a track pace which uh, you have warning, you should use it on the, only on the racetrack. And you can select the track, timing, new track, lap times, all track. So it has a lot of uh, tracks here, like you can see Autodromo, Agavare, Spa, Frankfurt Champs, Hockenheim, Nürburgring. I don't know who would go on the racetrack with this car, but uh, I think you can do it, it can handle, but then it's heavy load on the brakes, so maybe you need to uh, change the brake pads or something like that. But the engine is should be fine on the racetrack. I wouldn't be worried about that. So uh, here we have a drag race, so you can measure acceleration, quarter mile, or uh, uh, braking and then you have a driver profile which you can create your own so really love this track pace I hope I can use it once uh, on the racetrack and in assistance you can see the traffic sign assist also the camera and park assist active brake assist so this is, as you can see here, animation for the ongoing car before uh, in front of you. So you can select in uh, and put it on the early, medium, late. And camera and park assist can be... You can change a bunch of things here, as you can see. Speed adjustment. So this means that the active distance assist reduces speed ahead of bends and other root features. So as you can see here, so basically this means that the car, when it's going, the car can see based on the GPS, see based on the GPS, and also it can see by the by the camera in the front, 
that the, the turn or the bend is going, the car will slow down automatically without you pressing the, the, the brake pedal. And uh, this is just uh, incredible system. It also can uh, slow down if it see the, the traffic, the sign in the traffic. And also, uh, I forgot, you have also here attention assist if you need a brake. Active lane keeping assist, a lane assist, a lane change assist, so the car can automatically change lanes. It's basically like an airplane. Active blind spot assist, auto night view assist, so it can automatically display a person or animals on the road. So it has like a night vision as well. In consumption you can see the consumption. Light settings. So you have a ambience light here. And intelligent light system which are the multi beams. Spotlight is that it will line up, light up the person. Dipped beams is uh, Right side traffic, so if you, if you go to UK or you go from the UK uh, to Europe, you can change this so you don't uh, blind other cars. Surround lighting is uh, the projection of the lights. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure if, if this car has a, some cars have like a, can't see now during the day, but some cars have like a, a Folterback uh, logo illuminated here on the ground. And uh, exterior light shadow, it means when you park the car and walk away uh, from the car, then this is light up for uh, these seconds. You have an interior light shadow, this is also the same. When you walk away the car, then the interior is light up for like a 15 seconds. And so in vehicle setting, you have winter tire limit, because some tires winter have only a certain amount of speed. Standby mode is... Uh, if you go away for a long time from the car, then you want to activate this or put the car on the charger. Bell adjustment is uh, bell adjustment. Acoustic lock, I will show you that. Uh, it will like beep when you lock the car. Auto folding mirrors, this is a pretty self explanatory. Automatic door lock, bootlet opener limiter. So you don't hit like a roof or something. An easy entry is uh, that the steering wheel and seat will move away. So it's easier for you to go away from the car. Panel heating, you can see everything here. It means that uh, this panel here will be heated. So uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, what else we have here? And that's it. And here you have a system, and in the system you can select display and styles, and you can put the brightness of the display. And it also shows you which display you are setting. You can turn off the display, you can have a day and night design. Input, you can select the touchpad sensitivity, touch control sensitivity. So in audio, you can change this, these things, connectivity, so so many settings here. Parental control, I will show you this. So you can lock the, the rear left door, so your kit doesn't jump off uh, <laughs> from the car during drive, when it's uh, like a little kit. Uh, you can select the time and date, the language, units, so if you drive to UK, you can select miles, or if you drive from UK to Europe, you can select kilometers. You can have an additional speedometer for the miles. And uh, personalization, you can have a profiles of the car. So if you share this car with someone, you can select your profile, and your profile will remember all the settings which you like. And if the, your wife or, or anybody will, uh, your, uh, yeah, Basically, other driver will have uh, own, like a like a own account, 
then the person can have their own settings. So you don't need to change everything when you share the, the car to somebody. And you can back up the system. Okay, so <laughs> really complex and this is, we are only in the front of the car. Uh, so yeah, but I wanted to show you because uh, this is the flagship Mercedes AMG. I want to give this uh, proper time. So yeah, that's why it's taking so much time because this car has so many features. So <laughs> what should I do? I should skip them? No, I will uh, explain everything. I will just put it on the navigation now. So here, as I said, you have the AC. This is IWC uh, Schaffhausen. Uh, and this is the clock. Analog clock, so little nice detail, and uh, here you have a nice Volterbach logo, and you have a armrest here and some storage. Here is a charging pad for your phone, Qi charging, uh, wireless charging, and here you have a SD card slot and two USB-A ports, and it's not not so deep, so yeah. It could be, it could have some storage underneath here. You can open it from this passenger. Can open it as well and put their phone there. So this is good and it's really large. So both of you can fit hands here, arms, no problem. So these are the seats which I talked about. So if I press uh, the passenger seat, I can operate it here. And I can move it forward. This is the seat belt. I want to close this. And look, take a look here. So maybe you are wondering, what is this? What is happening? <laughs> Somebody can sit here? No, 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 no. It's because you can have a, here super lot of space, but I will show you that very, very soon. So let's go to the rear right. So yeah, if you take a look here, you have this beautiful seat with the ambient lighting. So really nice ventilated seats, AMG logo in the door trim, AMG carpets, and this has also like a food rest. So why I did this and soft close, watch it. Okay, so <laughs> I first time sit in the rear of the S-Class and it is just so crazy, it's like uh, sitting in the living room. So for now I will close this. So we have ambient lighting here and this, this is like a pillow at home. So here is like a normal headrest, like here for the driver. And here is uh, like a like a suede suede like a dynamic Alcantara pillow. So very soft. You can you can basically fall asleep here. You have a AMG here and a nice seat belt. Here is also a, the in the inside of the seat belt is like an airbag. So this is maybe the most safe car from Mercedes maybe also in the world so I feed, feel here the heating because I turn it on the seat heating and also you can move it here with this but I did it from the front so I put it back here because I want to show how much space do you have uh, normal like sitting normally so I will jump to the passenger seat quickly just to set my sitting position as a passenger. 
so it's 100% correct for you guys. So me as a passenger I will go a little bit down, like this, the most down. Well, I can have like a feed here. So I feel comfortable here now. I have a lot of space. Okay, so this is, would be like my position. And this is really nice, this. Just fantastic car and hello. And with the AMG engine, this is just the best of both worlds. Best of Mercedes and best of the AMG. Here we have a illumination and with this rear seat like in my position here is even like a cutout for like a knees so I sit here normally seat is in the lowest position but I still have a space to put my feet under the seat and it's pretty a pretty nice uh, place to be so here is uh, really nice you can have a, also additional display here maybe when the ignition is on okay so, so many so many times going inside and out in the car so uh, okay so now I turn on the ignition and you can select the east side of the rear for a temperature so pretty loud on auto it will close and you can close it okay and you, if you want if you press this then you can close the vent and you can also change it with this like click sound and like this also So really nice, you have a storage here, you can uh, have a cup holders too here, also this is a heated or a cooled, so if I put my hand here this is actually cold, so it was uh, cooling something, so these walls of these are cold, and they can cool down your, en uh, not engine, but <laughs> cool down your drink, or hot, uh, make a warm your drink, and this is a larger and smaller size, so you can press here. Oh wow, so here is actually, now it's cooling, and if I press again, you have a, like an icon, then it glows red. Wow, so this is a fantastic. And you have a, like a little storage here, maybe for some coins, I don't know, for something. And here also is like an additional storage space and 12 volt socket, maybe if you need to charge your uh, laptop or something like that. And also here is second, you can close it. And here you have like a wireless charging for your phone. I'm not sure if you can remove it. I'm not going to try it and uh, yeah. So this is this and here this is a heated because I turn on the seat heating because the seat was a little bit cold. So if you open it, you have a really large uh, space here, you can put the many things here. And you actually have this uh, remote control. So I can uh, try this. Oh, maybe it will work. So I can have a navigation here. Car setting, so if I press here. Let's scroll with this. I can change it. Not sure why this is. Maybe uh, you have a separate language. Oh, you have a separate language for rear. So if you are like an English person, your driver is like a different language. You can have a different languages, front and rear. So wow, this is a just fantastic. So I'm not going to change it because this video would be three hours long. But you can basically uh, do everything here. You can select the ambient lighting. So now it's on ocean blue. You can change it to purple sky. Red moon. Fire red. Dawn blue. Sun yellow, jungle green. So you can see it better here because it's more dark in the outside of the 
in the in the back of the car. Glacier blue color flash. So wow, this is uh, just crazy for the, the rear passenger because yeah, most of the people buy the S class because they uh, have a chauffeur. So very very good system. You can volume, you can operate volume here, and you can operate the AC. So yeah, you can operate basically everything. I have a radio, the browser, navigation, and you can if you switch this. You can operate the, the left screen here. You can see, wow, this is just crazy. And if I switch here for the rear, uh, rear right, then I have this. And if I switch to command, I can operate the command display. So let's try this. So if I put uh, the car here, it should change there. So let's try this. <laughs> so this is just just crazy. <laughs> what is this? So you can, uh, as a rear passenger, with this you can uh, control everything in the rear. So it would be funny if I show every if I show you everything with this. Uh, with this toggle. If I, if I want to turn at the rear, then I press uh, uh, here and I can turn it off. And also this one, turn this off. So here you have a HDMI a port, USB two port, USB A ports, and here is actually, wow, here is a normal, like European power wall socket. And this is sorry, and this is uh, uh, 230 volts and 150 watts. So you can power everything here, like a, <laughs> a laptop, a smoothie machine, everything. So, but don't do smoothie here because you can damage the the, <laughs> the inside of the car. So uh, really, really nice, really deep. You can put like whole arm here, so you can put many things here. And this controller is also here. So yeah, just crazy. And wait for it. You have here additional thing, which is uh, the fridge. So if I press here, this is probably for the CD or something. Looks like that. But here is a fridge. So at the moment is nothing there, but you can put some bottles there and everything. You can put uh, some food, it's very cold here and it is a fridge. So you can put uh, drinks or some food. Yeah, this is the cover. You can press here and the fridge will start to work. Just press this and uh, close it. So this is just crazy, crazy. You have a sunshade here, like uh, this thing, like this net. And you can put it up and down here with these uh, controllers. So you can have a more privacy and the same you can do here with these buttons. So full privacy. So this is for the rear and this is for the each of the window and here <laughs> you can even put down the panoramic roof so here on the top you have like a nice uh, leather material 
and uh, this handle with the light for reading and you have a cosmetic mirror here so I wanted to show you how this is changing when you want uh, the full uh, here full size so uh, here you press uh, this and now So look, I'm tall person, 186, and I can stretch my leg here. I'm not touching, of course, the seat, but look. So much space. And now the best part is that I can recline this. Now this is going up. So what is this? It's just uh, so guys. I am now in the back seat of the S63, and I can uh, fall asleep here. It's so comfortable. This is now on the recline position here, and uh, as you can see, my legs are supported here, and uh, yeah, I have also here for the place for my foot. So this is just like a, like president. <laughs> president seat in the S class so I can fall asleep here above my head I have a lot of space so this is just a crazy crazy car and you can have these also in a normal uh, S class but here you have an AMG engine so this is the best combination so yeah really this is uh, something else here all right so basically this is everything for the the rear first class so you can adjust also here maybe you can put it more up more down towards yourself if you have short legs on more extent all right so this is basically it you cannot put in this position this seat because uh, as you can see here is no button and this is because the driver needs to drive so you can put only this seat in this uh, first class position because uh, if nobody is sitting here then you can do that and I want to show you how much space you have here in the front when this first class position is here set so basically it is as much as possible in the front no space nobody can sit here but driver can put some things here maybe and uh, yeah so this is the most forward uh, position as you can see a lot of space here so the seat is going back in the original position now I can move it here I need to press here and then I can move it towards me so it has like a normal position seating okay so now I want to show you so actually I can show you here these buttons because I forgot to show you it before so this is for lights SOS button Mercedes me button sunglasses compartment and here you can uh, close and open the shade for the panoramic roof so pretty cool and you can also this open this one so when it's raining or something you can have a more light but now when the sun is up is better like this so let's check out the boot space so in the doors you have Burmeister speaker and here you have some storage space quilted leather decor and there I explained this for you so you can open the boot space with this button 
maybe I have the ignition on so it doesn't work in that case yes so I need to turn off the ignition and easy entry exit okay now it should work so let's try again okay so here we can see these are the rubber floor mats for winter here is like a net for some things and this is actually the the fridge which can which we could saw rubber net and here is a 12 volt socket so underneath there are a bunch of underneath of the boot there are a bunch of manuals so that's that pretty large uh, space for the boot because yeah this is a massive car and of course and this is automatic so yeah guys that's basically it the full in-depth review maybe the most in-depth review in the YouTube so give this video a like share with your friends subscribe to my YouTube channel for plenty more videos and guys just crazy crazy car let me know in the comment section what do you think so hey guys I will see you in the next video have a great day